Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob awaken Angel Race V4 and become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us improve our videos. With the actor slam. Oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so we're gonna awaken Angel Race V4 on this account. We're gonna start with the level 700 account. And with the help of this fruit, guys, can you guess? Yes, we're gonna use the Rumble Fruit to make grinding faster. Okay, so first, what is our goal? Our goal is to reach level 850 to start the V2 race quest. So we're gonna head to the first CS. This is the easiest place to grind at this level. Ride a boat and head to the Fountain City. Guys, take note that we haven't unlocked any skill on the Rumble Fruit. So we're gonna start slow. Okay, target Scally Pirate. Don't worry guys, this fruit is a Logia Fruit. So they cannot hit you as long as you have the level requirement. So very easy grinding here using the first skill, Rumble Dragon. Guys, we're gonna unlock our second skill, the Sky Thunder. This is the Sky Thunder. Next skill, we will also unlock the Sky Beam. Here it is. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna continue grinding here until you reach level 793. There you go. Next up, we're going back to the second C. Oh, I almost forgot to show you our F skill. There you go, the Lightning Dash. See? Think of it as an additional sorrow, okay? So target here is one pirates again same strategy with the galley pirates very easy i mean we're just gonna focus on grinding really fast right so there you go guys level 850 next stop here it is the bartillo quest so this is the start or the requirement to start the v2 race upgrade okay so 50 swan pirates kind of easy to be honest so we're gonna skip to this part there you go just skip to the good part ah uh, something like that right okay Next up, here you go. Jeremy Quest. Actually, you can get a quest or just defeat him. There you go. After that, Bartilu will ask you to go to the Coliseum. Here it is. Guys, remember this code. Y-X-C-S-M-F-N-B. There you go. That is the correct order of the letters here that you should tap. There you go. F-N is next. Where it is. There you go. And B. That's it. You will get... A helmet. This helmet is really good for PvP. Okay, next up, green zone. Look for the NPC alchemist. Okay, so talk to him. There you go. It appears that you blah, 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 blah. He'll ask you to look for three flowers. So for the red flower, you can only find it at day. Okay, so here it is. I have a separate video of this. Okay, for the guide. Next up, the yellow flower. You can find it, there you go, by beating mobs. So, again, our favorite, Swan Pirates in the second C. There you go. Okay, see that, guys? Flower number three. For the blue one, you can find it at night. Okay, so I always find this in the remote island where you can find Usopp, right? After that, head back to the Alchemist and pay him 500,000 bellies to upgrade your race. So now, guys, it will. Uh, this is all about your jump. Increase jump, blah, blah, blah. Reduce cost, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Next target, level 1,000. Okay, so back to grinding. So guys, we're gonna grind here with the Swan Pirates until you reach level 925. Okay, there you go. Finally, Thunder Bomb. We're gonna unlock it. Genki Dama, Dragon Ball Z reference. There you go. So guys, again at 925, we're gonna leave this area. Wait, I'm gonna show you our stats first. There you go, 400 melee defense, 500 block fruits, 1875. Okay, again, green zone. Yes, we are back <laughs> in the green zone. So target is Fajita or Fujitora. So guys, we're gonna skip this part. We're just gonna fast forward. Okay, we're lagging. I think we're lagging. There you go. Guys, here, we're gonna grind until you reach level 1000, okay? So start doing server up here. That is the fastest way. Or you can defeat the zombies. There you go. 1,000. Next up, head to the mansion. Guys, in order to do this, you need there's a requirement. Okay? You need a fruit that costs 1 million or more. Okay? Again, 1 million or more. So talk to him. Trevor, are you, do you want to join? Blah, blah, blah. Give an expensive fruit. In our case, we have the paw fruit. There you go. So we're going to give him our paw fruit. Okay give and you can now access the swan room okay 
So, can we defeat him at level 1000? Guys, yes. Technique, just use your V-Skill. By the way, we're gonna skip to the transform form of Swan. There you go. This one's stronger, has longer range, higher damage. As you can see, there you go. Half HP. For my technique, there is no wall strat here. Just use your skills. After that, dash sideways to dodge his skills. Guys, uh, dodge, ex extra dodge. Like, uh... Add two more dashes to the side to dodge his skills because as you can see I always get hit There you go Okay, so we will defeat him there you go after that Head to arrow the NPC and he will now give you the quest. Okay, he's located on diamond uh, Area there you go. There's a secret passage here For the quest you need to defeat a player that has angel race 2. Okay, so I have lots of accounts with that race Oh Guys, bully, bully, he killed me. Okay, anyway, guys, just joking around. Okay, there you go. After that, head back to Arrow and pay him 2 million bellies. And after that, congratulations, V3, Angel Race. And you will unlock a skill, Heavenly Blood. Basically, this is just a heal, okay? So next target, level 1,500 for V4. So go back to grinding, pinning back to Fajita. There you go, server hop until 1,028. After this, snow mountains. Target, guys, snow troopers. Again, they cannot hit you. There you go. Okay. So keep on grinding here until you reach level 1,150. I'm gonna show you the stats. Here it is. Melee 450. Defense 550. Block fruits max. Next up, hot and cold. Target here, guys. Vice Admiral. Guys, this is the easiest boss to defeat in this. Uh, see? I don't know why. <laughs> So we're gonna server hop until reach level 1288. Okay, so after that, guys, curse ship. And our only target is the ship deckhands. Why, guys? Because they're easy to defeat, easy to grind, near the quest giver, everything, guys, okay? You just grind these mobs until you reach level 1394. And after that, we're out. We are heading to the ice castle. Okay, target Arctic Warriors only. So we're gonna not gonna fight the Awakened Ice Admiral here because he's harder compared to these mobs, okay? At level 1473, off to the Forgotten Island, okay? And the only target, see soldiers again because they don't have hockey. Our target level here is 1500, and that is the requirement to awaken our race and reach race V4. Okay, so at 1500, make sure to finish the quest. Here are our stats. I'm talking about the Coliseum quest. There you go. Talk to King Redhead and fight Indra. No worry. You just need to reach, I mean, damage him until half HP. There you go. Okay, and that's it. Now you can head to the green zone. Talk to Mr. Captain and he will then send you to the third sea. Okay, first target here, guys. Let's make things faster. Beat Indra. Okay, so here you need God's Chalice. Okay, head to the castle of the sea. Check this out, me practicing CDK plus e -claw. There you go. And Portal Fruit. <laughs> PvP, guys. Okay. So again, you need three legendary hackies plus God's Chalice to summon Indra. So again, I was carried here by my main account. So if you're uh, wondering who is controlling this, shout out to Red and Pyo. They helped me grind this, my brothers. Okay, next up, you need 10 Conjured Cocos. And you can grind those at the Chocolate Land. Check this out. As a proof, there you go. 1,503. I got a Conjured Coco. Okay. So, locating it. There it is. And after 10, you need a God's Chalice. So, guys, to make things faster, I use my main account to get a God's Chalice. Here it is. Talk to the Sweet Crafter and he will craft one Kenji Chalice for you. Okay, next requirement. Head to the Cake Land and you need to defeat 500 mobs. Okay, 500 mobs. So for me, I defeated Cookie Crafters. Don't worry, at this level, 1,500, you're strong enough, okay? There you go, just use all your skills. And that's it. Don't worry, guys, you have max uh, blocks put stats by now. So there is no problem with your damage, okay? Just don't get hit. Okay, there you go, after that. But guys, make sure that the one with the Candy Chalice will open the dimension, okay? Not you, okay? If you don't have the Candy Chalice. So guys... Just get carried at this level. Check this out, guys. I just tried peeping <laughs> or uh, checking the Doking and I almost died. 
So just use your skills, long range attacks. Check this out, guys. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> Again, thanks for Tom, Pio, and Red for carrying me. Appreciate you guys. There it is. And that's it, guys. Now we have the mirror fractal. As you can see, we obtained one and plus six level ups. Not bad. Okay, so next up, head to the sea castle. Talk to Redhead Essence or Sealed King. Sorry, there you go. He will ask you to go to the Great Tree. Okay, yes, admin, Great Tree. And on top of that, there is an entrance to the Temple of Time. Now, go back to Sea Castle and he will be talking about uh, unlocking your powers on a full moon. Okay, guys, so here it is. The hardest part of the quest, the full moon. So first, you need to locate the Mirage Island again on a full moon. That's really hard. But we were able to pull it off. After that, at the peak, use your racy skill. Remember the heavenly blood. Also, guys, don't forget to use the fast mode, okay? That's important. So here it is. There you go. Look for it. Use your skills. And check that out. The moon will shine on you. Okay, so now you need to look for the gear. It took me 1 minute 30 seconds to find the gear. So this is just fast forwarded. There you go. After that, guys, you can now head back to the great tree. Locate the lever just here, left, and jump. There it is. And you can now open the door. Okay? So next step, you can only do this at a full moon. So wait for the full moon. There you go. Use your skills in front of your respective trials. You need two more other players with different races to do it. So I have two other friends. Count one, two, three. There you go. And a trial will start. So for us, angel race trial. So you need to jump on clouds. So is it hard for me? Is that hard? <laughs> there it is. Guys, make sure that all of you will finish your own trials, okay? So after this, the sad part, you need to fight each other. So I asked them to let me win. There is a Buddha Foot user there. <laughs> after that, you can now go to this clock, ancient clock, and awaken your race. So guys, if you will, if you can see, there are five gears. I will talk about that. But first, the first gear will let you transform. Let's make sure to fill up the red bar. And after that, guys, just push Y key. There you go, and you will transform. Now, to showcase the fully awakened. Guys, we have two gears, the blue and the red gear. And one of the gears will make you fly and glide. So you are seeing it now. There you go. And the other gear will give you a conqueror's hockey-like uh, skill. So here it is. As long as your enemy gets near you, they will bow down to you guys. Will it work on bosses? Guys, as you can see, it is really effective on boss raids, but on other bosses like, uh, for example, Captain Elephant on the Floating Island or even uh, Island Empress, they will not get stunned forever, okay? So they can attack from time to time. So this, this is only effective on boss raids. Okay, how about the other bosses like Indra, etc. Guys, they can attack you, okay? Also, is it good for PvP, guys? I have a video of that. You can check our channel for that. Okay, guys, so I think that's it. Is it hard to awaken a race? Yes, especially the mere fractal part. So again, I hope that you awaken your own race and choose the best one for you, okay? So that's it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.